morning everyone welcome to today's vlog welcome to wednesday how are we all doing today yeah the boys went off this morning absolutely fine i'm still i would say, say concerned and such with ben but it's always a worry sending him back to school after he's had um procedure and something like that it wasn't like it wasn't a big one touch wood which is good yeah so um yesterday when you come in from school it was quite sleepy and stuff like that so yeah it's like said, it's always a worry that they come in quite regularly now so but yeah they're more like the droppy absence type seizures so i'm hoping fingers crossed when we see his neurologist next week we definitely get some answers stuff like that because it's not fair on him to go through it it's not fair on us either as well so but obviously you can't put your life in hold for epilepsy because simply she just doesn't know when's when gonna strike basically so but i'm hoping fingers crossed he might say yeah put the um epilim back up or i said try the different medication we'll just have to wait and see what happens next week so yeah we've got to drive to the jr at oxford next tuesday so yeah it's quite an early morning one as well so it's not too bad i think we should be one of the first ones i'm saying that it's half past nine so not too quite a short time to start the clinic so and also with hospitals you never know when they're going to overrun do they and stuff and it's not so much getting there it's finding the parking space as well so we we're going to get mum to um come up look after sammy put sammy on his bus for school and obviously then once we can leave it earlier because that's the idea of it being rush hour traffic as well i can just imagine it being total nightmare especially the m40 the a34 but sometimes we go through oddly and go through kidlington that way around it's definitely not easier to do that way because i hope fingers crossed ben can go back to school as well next tuesday because i know tuesdays they've also got their flu clinic at school as well so yeah that's for next week so yeah anyway yeah but plans for today obviously we're just waiting in for Stephen's phone because obviously his old ones give up give it up basically yeah he missed it by about five minutes yesterday that's all um because it needs a delivery code or something they couldn't leave it but even though i tried to um do it on the ring i don't know if the ring wasn't working very well but but if you couldn't hear me properly but anyway yes yeah, so it's, it's it's coming this morning between half nine and half ten which isn't too bad so yeah i know he's definitely needed his phone so he's really really missed not having one as well but it's just amazing how much we learn all this technology stuff isn't it and stuff but so yeah we're waiting for that um i've got some washing to go out but it's at the minute it's like all grey cloudy-ish apparently it's supposed to be nice so um yeah i think i might put my washing out actually in a minute and hopefully in the squash it should be dry just finished watching smackdown we're just about to watch some raw now as well so yeah um advertising is like a saturday main event or something for december as well so that'd be pretty interesting also it's going to be interesting to see what happens to when it goes on to netflix next january time i think it is because uh, i know rumors keep saying it's going to last the wwe network's going to go but anyway yeah i've, I've rattled on for a bit too long now so the battery in the camera is about to i forgot to charge it up yesterday so yeah let's start wednesday shall we so steven's new phone has just arrived what should you go for Galaxy S24 ultra that's pretty cool actually is it the same size as your old one or is it slightly smaller okay oh yeah is this the one with all the different fancy cameras and stuff but yeah so quite a new case though what gonna need a new case oh yeah because let's look at the back of it a minute Oh yeah, the, oh yeah, this one's got all the different. Oh no, exactly, oh, it's exactly the same. Exactly if, if it's exactly the same, do you still need a new case? No. Do you, do you still need a new case? If it's, might be slightly bigger. What the new phone? Let's take your old one out and have a look. So it's quite good actually because um, we've gone from phone to phone to phone to phone and stuff basically from the. Um, galaxy to a galaxy as well you can just basically um, just swap all your sim details over can't you which is pretty good you still keep the same number I don't know I think it's the same size what I think it's the same size but like I said is it is it going to fit no it's just slightly what is it oh that's cool that's alright it's my old case. Oh, that's alright then. So, <laughs> that's going to fix your old case, isn't it? Yeah. Save some money having to buy your old case and stuff. So, yeah, anyway. Oh, yeah. But that'd be alright right to keep in that for now to get your new case. Wouldn't that? Yeah. 
and stuff. Yeah, we're right for. Yeah, we're gonna let you set that up. And all right. Yeah. What I should? Oh yeah, what I should you get with it? You got um, an entertainment thing, didn't you? You got free Raymond, three limited minutes, and things like that. I got. Uh, I got complete. Uh, all over the place. Yeah, which is good actually, free yeah. roaming and stuff like that because the going abroad using the data can be rather rather expensive and stuff, can't it? But yeah, at least you've got that, which is cool. I'm going to upgrade mine. I go, let's say, wait till I finish paying mine and I'll upgrade mine. It's coming up now, they don't come with a plug. It doesn't come with a plug anymore? No. Okay. All yeah, right, look at what's some spare plug. Is it the same sort of end now? Is it the same end? Is in hell is the same heart true McIntyre promised that he was gonna get to stop. Yeah, that's me. good. Yeah. But I, th I think they've made them more universal now, haven't they, and stuff, so which isn't too bad. But yeah, just sat there watching CM Punk. I don't go too much. Just watching about CM Punk and um Drew McIntyre. What's the they they in hell in the cell, aren't they? Yeah. That'd be quite good, bad blood actually. Yeah, so this morning it was grey, horrible, miserable basically. I think it's from the floor of the cloud. But anyway, yeah, and you can see the sun's out, which is over there between those trees somewhere. You can see, yeah, it's nice blue sky, a bit cloudy, which is good. Yeah, I'm so glad I put my washing up to be honest with you. I think it is actually dry now. I haven't checked it yet because I've only just come in from work. So yeah, a little bit of late finishing today. I had to set up my work email wasn't working properly so I sorted that out for me got a whole load of training to do so I need to get on doing that in a bit as well so just like normal basic stuff to be honest with you but yeah like, like I said that is actually dry because Sam said he wants to wear his Xbox number tomorrow even though he wore it yesterday he wants to wear it again today because he said tomorrow because he likes that so that's not too bad actually to be honest with you yeah Stephen's actually all broke up the rest of the um the jiggy, the old dress of drawers, which went in the green bin. Did they actually take it? Well, yeah, they did actually, which is pretty good. I'm really quite surprised they took it all, so that went the way. That's good. So, like I said, yeah, just gonna break down the sofa now, and that can go in the bin a bit, a little bit, by a little bit, basically. So, yeah, and anyway, we're just gonna enjoy the peace and quiet now. So, um, I'll turn you back round. All right, you just there. Oh, silly phone, silly camera. That way, that's better. Um, so yeah, it's an issue with this one, you can't flip it round, whereas with the phone you can easily turn it round. But yeah, well, like I said, we had no calls, nothing from school, so hope, hopefully touch wood, Ben's alright today. It's, like I said, it's still a bit of a worry and stuff like that, but um, you can't wrap them up in cotton wool as much as you want to let them go, basically. You just can't, um, like I said, yeah, you can't let epilep epilepsy ruin your life, basically, because otherwise it'll just take control and stuff like that. If it happens, we just have to deal with it and stuff. So, um, but yeah, I hope things across will be fine because I know, like I said, there have been issues out of the phone like they did yesterday. You to teach the phone to let us know what was going on. So, but like I said, he was absolutely fine after a bit of a sleep. He, um, he even came outside, had a bit of a bounce on his trampoline. So, yes, I'm sure he'll be fine. It probably, like I said, it hasn't helped to change the medication over as well because his sleep mesh changed over. Uh, we had three different brands in three months. And now we're back on the original sleep meds again. So, it's probably like his body's probably, his body's probably getting used to one. Then it changes, then it changes again. So hope it touch wood, he's back on the original sleep medication and stuff. So but yeah, like I said, I'm going Steve's made me a cup of tea now. I'm gonna um go drink my tea. Anyways, what are you thinking to your new phone? It's not crashing, that's one thing. <laughs> yeah. I suppose have you noticed any difference between your for the S twenty two to the S twenty four? Difference, it doesn't look much different, does it? I know the cameras on the back of site are different though, aren't they? And stuff like that. As long as you've got a fully working phone and stuff, yes. those few days you're a loss without your phone. Everything's done by app, so isn't it? That is the weirdest part. But at least you've got your phone sorted out, which is one good thing. So, like you said, it's quite simple because you've got you, um, basically you put your old SIM card in from your old phone, just stuck it to the same number, anything else, haven't you? So basically, it's just taking that one phone into the other. The thing is, I'm not going to install anything on here I don't need. You know, I just put stuff on here I do need. No, I put no, that probably doesn't help. So, um, so what have you lost? Just lost your pictures and your videos. Yeah. Things. Thing is, if you save them to your SIM card, weren't they on your SIM card? 
Or did you send them to your phone? I sent them to my phone. Oh, you sent them to your phone. So, yeah, so we lost them. We've never been on the SIM card. Same as, like, you got to put all the phone numbers back in the phone and stuff. That takes forever, doesn't it? They were saved. Oh, were they? Yeah. Well, that's one good thing, so. But anyway, yeah, so we just had, so we just wait for the boys yeah. to come home. Hopefully, Ben's had a good day today. Well, well, you haven't had a phone call, I haven't had a phone call or anything else, so hopefully touch wood, he'll be fine. Um, anyway, so just got the snacks ready for them as well when they've come home. Obviously, Ben's got his drink here. It's got his magnesium in there as well, so that's why he hasn't got a drink in there. Um, he's also got his gluten-free mini cheddars as well, which he absolutely loves those. Over here, obviously, Ben, Sam has got his drink there and his buttons. He's got his switch. Um, I thought you told him this morning to put, take a switch upstairs and put it back into the into charge. I know, but he'll be here with the one moaning when it's got no charge on it, you know. Yeah. Really, but anyway, yeah. One good bit of good news is if I turn you back round again. Yes, I've just done my first part of my work training. It was an epilepsy awareness course, um, which I part of flying colours, didn't I? The pass mark was 20 out of 20 and I actually got 20, so which I was really pleased about that. But saying that though, I think for us, we've been being epileptic as well. Some of the questions which, for Ben anyway, wasn't they? So I've also done that, so I've just got some more to do. And one of my courses is about four hours long, which is just going to, can't do that in, I can't do four hours training one day. So I think I might just have to do a bit here, a bit there and stuff, as long as it's completed by... What they say, Frank October, October half term. So I've got a couple of weeks to do it, so it's not too bad to be honest. With you. Anyway, yes, I'll see you in a bit when the Kitty Winkles come home from college and see what sort of days they've had. Yes, yeah, so I'm back. Ben wanted some more of his sort of crispy things, but yeah, so like I said, home from school. Ben's had a good day, hasn't he? They said he was a bit sleepy this morning, but they said by like, like just after lunchtime he perked himself back up again. But saying that though, when we woke him up this morning, he was a bit dopey. Did you have to wake him up? Or did you wake? Woke up. You woke him up, did you? So yeah, like I said, as long as he's had a good day, that's all that matters. You can see Sam is on here, he's playing. What are you playing on, Sam? Are you playing on The Sims? Yeah. Yeah, he likes The Sims. What's this on, by the way? It's yeah. on your PlayStation or your Xbox? PlayStation. On his PlayStation. But anyway, did you have a good day at school? Yeah. Yeah? What, you, what have you been doing at school today, anyway, Sammy? I'm being busy. I've been busy doing other stuff. Yeah, like what? I've been busy doing, I've been, I've been making something today. Ooh, what have you been making? I've been doing something with paint, with, the, with that thing. What thing? That other thing. What do you mean, what thing? That thing I've stick my hands in. What do you mean? Oh, what do you mean? It's, oh, like paper mache stuff, you mean? Paper mache stuff, I did. Oh yeah, that's what that's the thing I think of actually. Well, I think we took your hands and it's paper mache. Who can remember doing that at school? Like we just have, we had like a balloon. Can you remember that having the balloon and put paper mache over the top mm. and painted it? That's the thing I could think of <laughs> stuff like that. But yeah, like I said, his teacher emailed the other day and said how well Sam has settled in. It's like he hasn't. He's so even they've been there what two weeks now. This is like he's been there even longer, so I know they're re rehearsing. Is it start rehearsing yet for your play? I'm doing, I might be doing, I don't know what day I'm doing it. I know, but you're doing a play this year, aren't you, rather than doing a movie and stuff like that. Yeah, he's already told me what he's doing and what part he's playing, but yeah, I don't want to spoil it for him with the ass, but yeah, it's really, really good for him. Um, but anyway, so like I said, what are you doing to them on The Sims, Sammy? <laughs> getting them a shower. Okay. Anyway, yeah. So come down also. Just below getting them a shower. Hope they can get nice and clean. Okay. Um. Anyway, comment down below. Remember, used to have to play The Sims. I never have actually really got into <laughs> The Sims. Nothing <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh, Sammy. Anyway, before you do, what was your school dinner today? Curry. Curry. Mummy, oh, yeah, look, they're doing that. So Sam has just gone into the PlayStation store. He likes looking at sometimes get some really good free games. Look at the price of that. EA Sports FC 25, 99.99. Who would actually pay that price for a game? It's just unbelievable. You right, Ben? Nothing else, darling? I'm taking Xbox as well. Noth nothing else? But, um, look, this is the game I want to play. Test, Test Drive. How much is that? That's the same as well. Is that the same as how much is that? It's just crazy how they can that's charge you so much well. for games and stuff. It that's really, really is. Best, yeah. What game have you been playing? Because I saw advertised on the telly. Go back a minute. 
Oh. It was. Go back quickly, go back down there, Renat. What game have you been playing? What's the matter, Benny? What are your lights on? Oh. Yeah? Should you put mum for you then? Hang on, daddy plugged to mum. No, hang on then. Let's put that one on. Well, then press the red button then, Ben. Ben, press the red one. Yeah, should I put this one on? There we go. There we can put this. There's a good boy. That's it. There's a good boy. Well, at ST Fam, that's Wednesday in the bag, and I feel like it's just been a bit of a, you know, some. <laughs> One of those sorts of days today where the time has just disappeared. I feel like I haven't done anything. I feel like me and Cheryl should be, you know, starting to think about the C word, but we don't seem to be bothered by it, do we? And especially when Mum come up early on and um, she says she's like Christmas shopping and she's normally the last person to start Christmas shopping, you know? Yeah, I know. I think it's because I haven't got a clue what to buy people this year or nothing like that, you know? And it's like... Well, once what? again, it's going to have to be minimal, isn't it? Yeah, I know that. Because, uh, like I said, I'd rather not spend much on Christmas, but it, like you said, but put it towards an experience or something like that, you know? I'll tell you, um, once again this year, we've, we're just going to... Not, we're not going to go mad buying a stupid hamper or anything else. We just just carry on doing our regular normal shop. Yeah, because we looked at this. <coughs> I showed you the prices, didn't I, yesterday, and you can't believe how much they've actually gone up. Yeah, I know. It's just crazy. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably get like a turkey crown or something from Audi or something. Audi or Lidl or something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, but I'm not going too mad by stocking out the cupboards with too much food. It's not worth it anymore, is it? This is not is worth it, it anymore. Don't forget, you're... You've only got Christmas Day off. You've you, you been told already you've got work Boxing Day anyway. So like you said, what's the point, you know? Yeah. There's nothing whatsoever, really. Sometimes you wish you could just flip a switch and just, you know, have a life of easiness where... You just come to the ocean you know, Yeah. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? So, right, just, so, just like say, come on then, right, we're off. And that would just go somewhere else, but... <coughs> it's just another thing. It's like going to the gym. I've just had that horrible feeling in my head that it's becoming more of a chore than a wanna do, if you know what I mean. Mm. I hate it when something comes like that and that's where it puts you off. So the other thing, tell you the truth, we, have, we haven't mm. gone this week, have we? You know what no, mean? we haven't gone this week because I've had issues with my phone. mobile phone and, and everything else. And We've had to wait for your phone to come to you, but you've got your new phone now. So. Yeah. I know, that's the thing, and it's like people say, oh well, yeah, it's exactly, exactly. But I find if you go when you don't feel up to it, you don't get so much out of it. That makes no, sense. No, it's just, I just hate to think that it becomes a chore. Mm. I just wish I could get that mindset together where, you know, yeah, I'm, you know, I want to do this, I want to do that. But as soon as you walk into that leisure centre nearby us, it's just, you know, the the trainers look so damn miserable. It's like exactly. they don't want to be there. It's like, you're supposed to be helping me to try and achieve my thing. And that's what you're here for. Mm. But that's the thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's just the reason why we stopped going to do it before in the first place because the mm. instructors there, like you said, they gave you the impression that they don't want to be there. It's like mm. when we went last week, we walked in and he structured up to us, didn't even say hello or nothing like that. Mm. Does that mean? I do think that makes a difference. The trouble is, you know, when you're at work and you have to deal with, like, the public, you know, you say hello, you say how are you and everything else, you know. It's mm -hmm. nice to be nice, but you know, when you're in there, it, it, I just, I, I just feel like oh, this just feels like a blooming chore. I just don't want to do it anymore. Oh no! Don't we get that? <sighs> anyway. It doesn't help that you know when you're next to food nearly all day. That doesn't help because you've yeah. got the cafe smells and everything yeah. else coming in your nose and all the bakery stuff. <laughs> and, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's just not good. I feel sorry for anybody who works at McDonald's, I bet that's lethal for them. Okay. Anyway, yeah, so that brings Wednesday to an end. Yeah, hopefully tomorrow afternoon we'll head to the gym and do a bit more. But it's going to take a massive effort to really lose a lot of weight. You know, this is where you need a proper diet, dieting program and mm. eating the right foods. I know some people say, set to set to, we should eat this, you should eat that, and all that sort of thing, and you probably eat loads of drugs. Have to look at the problem, we probably do eat drugs, but... We're not the only ones who blooming do it. 
no what? one on here or anyone in the comments can say that they're not prone to eating junk food. The thing is, the plate mm. was on, was it on, um, you, you have got to be mentally there to, to know that you're going to lose weight. Yeah. The mm. thing is, was it on, um, the one in Britain this morning, mm. on about, yeah, because they're on about a thing, aren't they, where Club Tesco's, because obviously they've got all your data from your club cards, they're going to let you know, aren't they, if you've eaten too much stuff, or have too much drunk food and stuff like that. So yeah, another but... person was saying, that's the case, I need to make healthy food more cheaper than junk food. Yeah, it's true. Mm. It's true. You think about it. When you walk into the door at Tesco's, what's the first thing you see? You see packs of Coke, mm. and then you see the crisps, mm. then you see the fizzy drinks, and then you get to the veg, and you think to yourself, that's expensive. It's like these bananas down here. How bad do they go before you want to eat them? It's like you've got to eat a whole bunch of bananas in one day. We bought those on Friday. We bought those when we were shopping on Sunday. We've mm. had two up of them. Then said, Eve, do you have one in your lunchbox? And then Ben's put one to store. Look how manky they've gone already, you know? Yeah. That's why, that's one of the things, that's the reason why, you know, because you don't pay the money and it doesn't last. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, so thank you very much for watching. Like the video, comment down below, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Bye everybody. Everybody.